Hello, this is Greg Brzezinski for Beard Brand, and today I'm going to show you how I style my hair. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I style my hair. It's going to start with clean, wet hair, and so here we go. <laughs> So, wet hair, but how about uh, towel dried? Get some of the moisture out of it, uh, but not too much. My hair dries fairly quickly. As I said before, I have a medium amount of medium textured hair, so it actually dries pretty quickly. So I start by at least combing it out. My current haircut is a uh, modified undercut. So the hair on this side of my head is actually cut shorter uh, and forces the part. So the hair right at the part is fairly long. So it naturally parts at that level and it's blended through on this side. So I'm using a sea salt spray uh, the beer brand makes. Uh, this one is Spice Citrus and I'll be using a styling balm, which is also uh, Spice Citrus, keeping the scents together. You can also use a blank slate product that has no smell to it. Um, but uh, I'm going to put a liberal amount of this in my hair which adds uh, some more texture. I don't think you can ever have too much texture unless you have incredibly dense thick hair. I think that's uh, great to add some product to you know, give some texture. So now I'm going to go to voiceover because I'm going to actually turn on a hair dryer. Uh, so with the aid of a round brush and with sea salt spray in my hair, I'm going to take some of the moisture out. So here we go. So blow drying more of the moisture out of my hair. Uh, I probably should have towel dried it a little longer. I didn't want to bore you with towel drying, so I will bore you with uh, the blow drying. I'm removing moisture, removing moisture, removing moisture, and I want to start actually adding lift to the hair and um, some volume by pointing it up. And I'm going to use a round brush at this point, and I'm going to do two things. I'm going to actually straighten some of the hairs where I have a curl or a cowlick, and I'm also going to add a flip to the front and along the part uh, with use of the round brush. I uh, utilize the cold button on the hair dryer, so I heat it up, uh, locking in uh, or heating it up like a curling iron more or less, and then using the cold button to set the style. Uh, you should always finish your hair with cold, uh, makes it shiny, and, uh, and, and it'll keep the style uh, better. So this is the majority of the moisture out of my hair, uh, so you saw me using the round brush and uh, putting a little uh, wave in the front of it kind of a modified pompadour today um, so that I could actually leave my hair like this and it'd be good to go but I'm not going to get all of the hold that I want uh, so the minute I hit especially in Philadelphia on a hazy hot and humid day uh, my hair would just go blump and uh, so I'm going to add a little more product to my hair and in this case I'm going to stay with the spice citrus and add some styling balm uh, to my hair so I take a little dollop of the product, I'm going to rub it into my hands to warm it up slightly, not too much because I don't want to rub it all into my hands. And starting in the front, I put a little bit to get a little more product right in the front and then working from the back forward, rubbing it all the way in. So what I typically do is I don't comb through the top of my hair. Uh, I want bigger, um, almost like hand uh, prints through the hair. I can see that. You look at all, if you look at a lot of um, hair uh, styling, hair cutting videos, there's a trend to have really big uh, comb lines through your hair, and either made with your fingers or with a really wide tooth comb. So I tend to do that by just using um, my hands to get uh, those kind of prints through my hair. That's my go-to hair styling technique. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comment below. And until next time, people, beard on. Now that you're done with this video, head over to our shop and treat yourself to some fine beard brand products. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit that button and keep on watching some more of our awesome videos.